right, everybody. So we are here at the Renaissance Festival. I am joined by Josh, a very honorable man. Very honorable. <laughs> Destiny, watch your wallet. <laughs> <laughs> and the fool over there is Tommy. He is not funny. No law. I didn't even know a joke. It is a shame. <laughs> Little funny. Is it? Yes. It is Tommy. The fool. The fool. We'll have many moments coming up, so stay tuned. So far, so good. All right, don't let it I hope you can hear me. Walked around for a good bit more, and uh, basically, I'm just sitting here, like, I'm just basically, I'm just like, oh my god, at everything, and just going, oh, what's that? What's that? What's that? About everything I see. I'm running around like a dog that's like chasing squirrels and can't make up his mind which one to chase, basically. There was tons and tons of awesome stuff that was really cool. There was an awesome dragon guy there, but we uh, couldn't get through the crowd to see him, but basically. To show you some some of the stuff that I was losing my crap over, it's uh like this is an example of it. I've been wanting one of these for years, and I finally got one. It's a really really nice flintlock. If you can see that, and the best part about it is. It's like a really nice made prop. Really good. Now that I know what it looks like, I can try to actually have a good scale of reference. I can actually make my own. Might be coming up in a video. Maybe not. We'll see if I'm smart enough to pull this off. And the second thing was, also for mainly because of scale of reference, was finally got me one of these. No, I didn't have to carry my freaking wallet and my boots. Pretty nice bag. Uh, I know I probably could have made these myself, but I didn't have anything like this, and I didn't have anything to do stamps. So, I thought this would be, it was just, it was also it was really, really cheap compared to other stuff that was down there, because if you're going to go there and look for actual, like, leather gear and armor and stuff, maybe, like, you know, for LARPing and whatever, you're going to need a good amount of money. I mean, there are cheaper things, but these people make the things themselves by hand, and they make these things by hand, and they are really, really talented. And basically, I've got tons of ideas for stuff to build, and I highly doubt I'm going to be able to pull any of it off on camera or even off camera, because my mind is more out there than my actual abilities are. I'll be like, make a long list, three things get done. It was just a real fun time we had. And, uh, just gonna break away here and show you guys some more footage.
That was awesome. awesome. Was that not awesome? That was pretty sick. It was awesome. Griffins. It was awesome. And this one, these will be a little bit more interesting because uh, right now we got. I'll be showing you these things now. Now this is probably why I'll have to put an age restriction on this video because we got pulled into this uh, show called the Naughty Nauticals. It's basically in a very like crude humored adult to pirate show and it was it was pretty damn funny but I really wish I would like started recording sooner because the male pirate you'll see him in a minute he literally he made it he basically made an erection joke and he made you know mentioned it to at the crowd you know he's like I might need a little helper and then like my buddy Tommy who was sitting right beside us he holds up his gesture scepter and he says something. The pirate dude immediately does it. You put your hand down, sir. But then, like, within a few minutes, he starts coming down the aisle. You know, and, and he's staring at Tommy. He's made eye contact. He is not breaking eye contact. He is after him. We didn't know what he was going to do. So he gets into the stands with it. The little, stool, the little, uh, uh, the little uh, benches we were sitting on. He, uh, he just steps up on the bench in front of us. 
basically just stands there in front of my buddy Tommy and just says, you offered, sir. <laughs> and it was just, it was ridiculous and it was just amazing. It was fun. Just straight up fun and hilarious. But I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to stop rambling. I'm going to show you the footage and hopefully you guys will get a kick out of it as much as we did. So here we go. Sounds like we're gonna find out in a second. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! You guys so much chest hair going on, you're gonna go up like a dead Christmas tree. That's <laughs> true. <laughs> my fingers are cold, but that is true. Maybe I've got cold hands. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>
should be worth five bucks in a sticker. Right? Hey, <laughs> we only give out these stickers here at our naughty show, the ones that say I'm a naughty pirate, but ladies and gentlemen, brand new this weekend, I came out with my own sticker. I came out with the flaming nipple sticker. What the <laughs> <laughs> Flaming nipple. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. You too can have a flaming nipple right after the show. Just yeah. <laughs> slap it out. Just <laughs> slap it on there. Ladies and gentlemen, please make sure you come in the back and find me. <laughs> <laughs> Shoulder, Chris, but the 
at the jousting, the tournaments and all that stuff. Hopefully my cam, I was able, my editing has been able to save the footage because like an idiot, apparently my brain is like, hey, I'm just going to hold up my phone and record things. I'm not going to bother making sure I'm holding it correctly. Like I was too busy, like a candy candy store, like a whole area just full of medieval people, medieval and fantasy related stuff. It was just fun. But uh, it was just... I'm at a loss for words. There's only, I'm at, there's only so many times I can say, it's so cool. I'm not Markiplier here. <laughs> but, uh, well, that's going to get me some trouble. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video because I know we sure as hell did. And in the comments down below, wish Destiny a happy, a late, happy late birthday. Because I know it'll annoy the crap out of her. <laughs> 